Since we're not gathering in church as frequently as we otherwise would do, I thought it might be nice, just as I had shown you how bare and stripped the sanctuary is on Good Friday, it might be nice to show you um, the decorations for Easter. Admittedly, more modest this year. We would typically have many more floral decorations, but uh, to see our beautiful sanctuary uh, decorated for Easter, the altar vested uh, just as uh, the priest vests uh, in the color of the season, uh, white accented with gold, uh, the tall paschal candle, the Easter candle, standing tall and victorious as a sign of Christ's victory over death, his resurrection, uh, and of course Easter lilies, a modest amount of floral decorations, our statues uh, again uh, uncovered and visible, uh, and uh, the Blessed Sacrament, of course, uh, back in the monstrance, and uh, on top of the tabernacle, uh, because our adoration program still goes uh, good and strong, thanks to uh, the many volunteers who have committed to a time of adoration. And so that also permits then visitors to the main church uh, to be able to come and have adoration through the glass into the chapel. We're grateful to our scheduled the doors who commit to a time and we continue to gather as a people of faith, uh, wherever we are, to celebrate the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Happy Easter.